Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today, I wanted to try the e.l.f. bite size Acai Yu. Now, this is a lot bolder than I thought it was going to be, but I want to give it a try. So I thought we would just do a chit chat, get ready with me as I get ready to put this on. So I already put um, the e.l.f. mattifying primer on. Then I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder Futures Hydra Rescue, and I have mine in the color 3N1 Honey Beige, and I'm just going to put that on top of a beauty blender. I'm going to pat that on. I do have sunscreen, moisturizer sunscreen, all of that vitamin C on already. i got to go run a couple of errands. Um, this COVID-19 thing is, for me, just now starting to get old. I think part of the reason is because I was grieving my mother, we were doing online schooling, and so I had a lot of things keeping my brain occupied, but now I think I'm ready to see my friends. <laughs> okay, this is like the perfect color for me, and I am loving it. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit more where there, I have hyperpigmentation. Okay, if you saw my last haul, you know I got the Pat McGrath um, concealers. I have the color L5 and LM14. So the L5 I'm going to put under my eyes and into the middle of my face. It is a little bit light for me, but I'm going to make it work. LM14 I'm going to put on my hyperpigmentation. And this ends up being a great color for me. And I'm going to put a dot right there so that I can darken that up a little bit. I have a lot of hyperpigmentation here. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to blend that out. So my son went to the beach with his friends. Um, without me because my daughter had danced, so I couldn't take him. So I gotta go pick him up. He went boogie boarding with some of his um, middle school friends. I know he's missed them a ton. And I'm so happy that they called and were able to take him even though I couldn't go. This social distancing has been hardest for my kids, I think, especially my second son. He really thrives on being with his friends, so. And I guess siblings is not the same. <laughs> Okay, see how awesome that turned out? Oh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. I have the color light and medium. So this is the light. I'm gonna take that with my Hourglass Veil Powder Brush and I'm gonna just set that under my eyes and in the middle of my face. This is supposed to be an under eye prime powder, but it's so blurring that I use it all over my face. Okay, so then I'm gonna take the medium and put that all over my face. So the, number, the light I put onto the, under my eyes, and then the medium I'm putting all over my face. It's probably wasting good powder, but Man, it's good. Do you happen to know if this powder is the same as her loose powder? Does it work the same? Anyone know? Leave a comment down below because I'd love to know because I'm going to go through this powder really fast the way I'm using it. But look, it blurs all of my pores. <clears throat> Gotta love that. For my eyebrows, I'm going in with my um, Hourglass Brow Volumizing Sculpt Fiber. No. Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. And I have mine in the color uh, Warm Brunette. And I'm just gonna put that on my eyes and it has the short side and the long side. So I'm just gonna take that and do the long side here. I accidentally shaved the end of my eyebrow. Mm. <laughs> I guess 
just my mind wandered for a second while I was doing my forehead and uh, got a little bit of that. Then I'm taking my Urban Decay Brow Blade and I'm going to use the pencil portion and I'm just going to draw in that last portion where I shaved off my end of my brow. And then go in with the flick portion and just fill in the gaps a little bit. They're not even sisters at this point, but there you have it. <laughs> That's the thing I don't like about the brow blades. It's There's no um, spoolie on the end. I'm going to use the Milani Eye Primer and put a little bit of that on. Then let's go into this e.l.f. Bite Size Acai. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you first. Now this is only $3, so it's very affordable. I do have some of the other palettes that I've used and like. Um, they're really good for $3. Just don't compare them to the high-end stuff and you'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, let's bring you in a little closer. So here's what the palette looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch. can see in the swatches that it doesn't swatch all that great so I'm gonna have to use some really good makeup brushes to try to get those to work I'm going in with my Sonia G crease pro brush this is what that one looks like and I'm gonna go into this first color right here and use that as my transition shade it's not as pigmented as some of the other ones that um, she had like the jalapeno one the green one But let's keep working with it and this kind of looks powdery on me and it might be just the light color of this particular color and again right there see how that's patchy that's not due to um, the eyeshadow that's just my eye I think that's from where I had that bee sting when I was little it always looks like it's patchy because that area right there doesn't want to take color. It's not weird. Okay, so let's build this up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go into the second color and try to take that to the outer corners. The outer half. Let's see how that works. Using the same brush. I'm going to bring that in. That might be a better crease color for me. And I'm going to go right into the crease using a windshield wiper motion. And then kind of take that and circle around it just to bring it out a little bit. I'm going in with my Sonia G Builder 3 brush, this one right here, and I'm going to go into this dark color and just put that on the outer, outer portion of my eye. And just pat that in. Just like the outer third. And then going back in with my original brush and I'm going to blend that out. I'm going to use that same brush that I went into that dark color and I'm going to line my lower lid, just the outer portion. Then I want to try, I want to try using this color and I'm going to use that to line my upper lid like a smoky. See how that works out. Actually, I'm going to put that on, yeah, I like that. I think I need to put this color on the second color onto the front portion on my lid because it looks kind of funny there without anything there. Yeah, I have a little bit of fallout, so I'm gonna brush that away. 
Okay, there you have it. What do you guys think? Let me go ahead and put my eyeliner and mascara on and I'll be right back. I think it's patchy. Bolder look than I normally go for. Okay, now remember that I have the Pat McGrath powder on. So now I'm gonna go in with my blush bronzer and highlight. And for my bronzer, I wanna use my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in one. And I'm gonna take the butt of my sponge and just kind of put that into this area, into my hairline. And I'm just patting that in not to disrupt my concealer. And then take it down my jawline. No double chin here. And then a little bit on my nose. Gosh. Then I'm going to go into the Illuminate and I'm going to take the clean part of my sponge and I'm just going to tap that in. So I'm going in with my Tower 28 Beach Please Magic Hour and I'm going to just take another part, portion, clean portion of my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to kind of pat that onto my cheeks and up a little bit. I don't want anything too I don't want anything too dramatic because my eyes are going to be the center of the show. Okay. Next, I'm going in with my Chantecai Lip Pencil in Natural. I'm going to fill that in just lightly. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going in with my Lip Lip Veil in Tambodi. This is what that color looks like. This is becoming a new favorite. It's like my perfect nude. Okay, so there you have it. What do we think? Okay. So there you have it, the e.l.f. Bite Size Acai. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And leave any comments down below and we'll see you next time. Peace!